hello guys welcome back today we're going to talk about how to create and mount a file system on a linux server let's start now the first thing we're going to do is to identify our volumes so the first so we're going to pass the command lsblk we're going to see that we have two volumes. The first one is the XVDA with multiple partitions and we have the XVDF with 100 gig, no partition. So that is the one we're going to use to create a file system and mount it. So we're going to, the first thing we're going to do is to partition this volume. So, I'm going to pass the command, I'm going to do sudo, even if I'm a root, so I don't need to put sudo, but if you're not the root, you're going, to, you're going to have to put sudo. fdisk, then I'm going to do slash dev slash xvdf, the name of the volume. I'm going to press enter. So I'm going to have this one as you can see over here. If you need help, you can press M. You can uh, uh, imp you can put M, sorry. And you're going to have like some kind of help. So for me, what I want to do is to create a partition of my volume. So I'm going to I'm going to put N, right? N is to add a new partition. So I'm going to put N as an input. As you can see over here, I'm going to press enter. Then it's going to ask me what type of partition do I want? P for primary and E for extended. I'm going to choose P, the default one, P for primary. And it's going to ask for the partition number. So I'm going to leave it as default. And it's going to ask me for the first sector. I'm going to leave it as default. So over here, I want to add, I want to create a partition that has 40 gig. So how I, how I do that, I'm going to put plus, I'm going to put 40 and I'm going to put uppercase G. And I press enter. Then just to make sure that the, as you can see first, as you can see over here, it's going to say create a new partition one of the type Linux of an of size of 40 gig or gigabyte. So for me to make sure that everything is created, I can put P and I'm going to see some details right here of the new partition. Now that, the, now that I know that the the partition is created the next thing i'm going to do is to write it to save it if you want i'm going to press w and i press enter so it's going to say the partition table has been altered right so i can clear all this i don't need it anymore if i do lsblk you're going to see that from this volume we have a new partition of 40 gig so now i'm going to create let's create a file i'm going to do mkd test file if i do ls i'm going to see my file testing file what i want to do is that from this partition i'm going to create a file system and to do that i'm going to pass this command make file system mkfs then i can choose between i have two options i can use ext4 or I can use XFS and that's the one I'm going to use. So 
I'm going to use that and I'm going to take my partition. It's going to be dev slash xvdf1, the name of this partition. And I'm going to press enter. So now we have a fast from this partition, we have a fast system. Now I'm going to mount my file system to my directory so that everything in my directory is stored into my file system. To do that, I'm going to let me clear everything. I'm going to do mount, then I'm going to put my I'm sorry, it's going to be xvdf1 if I remember well. Then I'm going to put testing file. So what I'm saying is that everything that's going to be testing file is going to be stored in this volume. If I press enter, I'm good. So to make sure that the, the everything is working fine and the mount has succeed, I'm going to do lsblk again. And you're going to see we have our file system or a partition and it is mount to this directory so everything we're going to put in this directory is going to be stored into this partition so this is how we do that and let's say that you don't want the mount you want to unmount the directory to the file system how do you do that you do you mount and you put the directory and if you do ls blk again you're going to see that it's not mount anymore over here is it is mount but over here it is not mount anymore anymore that's it thank you for watching this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe see you next time